Luckily, decluttering your home doesn't mean you have to spend every waking moment going through stuff. It's okay to start small and tackle one dresser or one room at a time. Good morning. I'm Mark Renner from Berkshire Hathaway Ambassador Real Estate. Today, we want to talk about, it's the second of my videos of decluttering. Yesterday, we talked about the reasons why you should declutter your home. And today, let's talk about the guide, a simple guide to decluttering your home. First off, banish bathroom clutter. Bathrooms can become major ha havens for mess. Products, makeup, beauty supplies, and tissues gang up to create total chaos. Then when you're looking for something important, like a thermometer, you can find everything else but that. Declutter decluttering your bathroom doesn't have to be hard. Here are the top things to focus on when organizing your bathroom. Empty all the drawers and cabinets and toss items that are expired or mostly empty. Combine items if you have more than one of the same thing. If you haven't used a product in months, toss it. Make sure items like medications and sunscreens are up to date. Keep items you use on a daily basis in your bathroom. Store the rest in a stackable bin you can, you can put in your linen closet. Next, create a zen-like bedroom. The bedroom should be relaxing and free from clutter to promote a night of deep sleep. Try these tips to organize your bedroom in a jiffy. Take everything out of your nightstand and sort it into boxes labeled keep, discard, and catch-all. The catch-all bin is for things that don't belong in or on your nightstand. Choose one book to keep on top of your nightstand or better tuck it away in a drawer. Decide where to put the catch-all items. Clean and disinfect the surface of your nightstand. Pick up all dirty and clean clothes and put them in their proper places and get in the habit of putting clothes away immediately after wearing your laundry, laundering them. And pick a beautiful bowl to put on your vanity for spare items like jewelry, your watch, your keys, so they don't clutter up the surface. And finally, the simple act of making your bed every morning makes the entire room look neat and organized for when you return for a good night's sleep. Say goodbye to old clothes and shoes when organizing closets. On the dreaded closets you want to go through, you may want to reserve extra time for decluttering your closet, especially if it's been a few years. Used clothes and shoes take up a ton of extra space and make it hard for you to choose an outfit every day. Plus, let's not forget, put the emotional baggage tied with too much clutter. <clears throat> Let's not forget to throw out the emotional baggage. Start by trying on clothes to determine if they fit and have a pile of fit and unfit and determine what you actually like. Just decide, can't decide what to keep. Try wearing these clothes for a few weeks to see if you love them or hate them. Remember, it's not necessary, necessarily a good idea to keep two small clothes around just in case they fit one day. Purge the kitchen drawers and cupboards. Do you have a hard time shutting your kitchen cupboards and drawers because you have too much stuff? It's not uncommon to have several sets of measuring cups or five corkscrews, but you don't need all that stuff in your kitchen, especially items taking up precious counter and storage space. So empty out one cupboard at a time. Many families have too many plates, bowls, Unless you have dinner parties for 15, don't eat the items you don't, you, you don't use on a regular basis. Analyze your appliances carefully. And decide which ones you actually use and decide which appliances you can donate. Store any appliances you're keeping in cupboards to keep your counters nice and bare. And do the same thing with your pots and pans, keeping only what you use and love. Now you can clean and disinfect your bare kitchen countertops with ease. Sift through stuff in your garage. Are you one of those people who stores everything in your garage? Boxes of unused clothes, outdoor gear, barbecue grills of all kinds. If so, you're not alone. In fact, one in four Americans can't even fit one car in their garage. The garage can be an especially difficult area to declutter. So start small. 
and make weekly goals. Don't try to declutter your garage in one sitting or you'll never get around to tackling such a huge job. And remember, decluttering your home doesn't have to be painful. Many people put off decluttering for years because they think it will be too hard or take too much time. But once you organize decluttering into bite-sized chunks, it's easier to handle. You'll see those items flying off shelves, creating a zen, minimalist environment you can't wait to come home to enjoy every evening. Thank you for watching my video. <clears throat> if you are a home buyer or a potential home buyer, I encourage you to go to my website at www.markrenner.com and click on special reports where you can buy this, where you can order, it's free, you don't have to buy it, where you can order this special report, Home Buyers, How to Avoid Paying Too Much. This is simply a simple guide to help overpaying for your home. In today's complex, fast-paced market, you can afford to learn these lessons through trial and error. The tips contained in this report will go a long way toward making you a savvy, buyer. You can get this special report, as I said, at my website at markrenner.com or just give me a phone call at 402-690-1687 or email me at mark at markrenner.com. I can send you this and other special reports in a digital form because I have, so you can download them. I have them in a digital form or I can send them to you in a printed brochure. Thanks again for watching today. Have a great day and be safe.